Hey, my YouTube friends, we have a vintage cola toilet today. We're going to um, replace the pipe connecting the wall mounted tank to the bowl because it's leaking all over the place. Here's our vintage cola toilet. These are the pieces we're going to replace, and I'll show you those in a second. But this is where the problem is. This uh, big chrome pipe you can see is actually dripping, and every time you flush, the water just pours out. <clears throat> this is called a 2 by 6 by 8 It's 2 inches six inches, eight inches, the chrome pipe. A lot of the old toilets actually use the elbow, but on this one, we're gonna have to cut out a, uh, a straight piece and use it. We're gonna have to cut it with a grinder, but uh, basically it slips into the, this is the flush valve, uh, replacement flush valve, but it slips into the replacement flush valve and then you put the big nuts on it. And the other end, slips into the spud which is down in the bowl and again it attaches the same way actually that's upside down the spud goes like this the problem is to replace this pipe we have to take the old flush valve out it's probably going to break when we take it out i've been told this toilet's 80 years old so i have the replacement here in case it's needed but we're going to have to remove that one to get this pipe in and there's a rubber seal and stuff so it's probably a better idea just to go ahead and replace this the spud goes down in the toilet and the same thing so this is uh, both both ends of that pipe it's going to be like that with the pipe in the middle uh, we're going to need a flapper um, this usually gets the ball flapper but we're going to use a regular old flapper and because there's no flappy ears on this this is a rubber thing that slips over the tube and we we're going to take this mounting bracket for the ball off and we're going to slip this down and mount the flapper on the ears that's the plan. Take a look inside the tank. We're thinking that the fill valve is okay, so we're gonna leave that. But look at the linkage on that on the flush handle. It's pretty cool. And uh, you can see how corroded that flush valve is, or the doublet valve, what they call it. So it's probably gonna disintegrate when we take it out. Look at that linkage, pretty cool. So we've got our two by six by eight flush elbow we got our two by two brass spud we got our brass brass douglas flush valve and our universal flapper first thing we're going to do is drain the tank you can either bail it out with a cup a sponge a cup and a sponge or i got this handy suction gun uh, we cut it with the dremel we cut the nut and we cut the nut we did dremel just made the decision because we're going to replace all this stuff anyway that way we could just get this nut off just one cut and it usually just cracks off okay here's the top one Using the old two-inch pipe as a template for length, we marked it and we cut it with the Dremel. Then we installed our slip nuts and our rubber washers on each end with the threads out so that we could uh, thread it on. Set this aside. The next thing, we're going to install the spud, which goes in the bowl. This gets dropped with the mushroom shape down. The big rubber washer goes on it then the metal washer, and then the spud nut. And as you tighten the spud nut, it's going to pull everything together and expand this rubber washer and seal in that porcelain beautifully. Well, there's some staining from the old leak on the porcelain, so I got this new straight edge razor from the truck, and uh, it's kind of hard to scratch porcelain, you know, unless you're using the Dremel tool or something. So uh, we could clean this right up. <laughs> Looks a lot better. Alrighty, so watch the spud go in. Next we're gonna take next we're gonna take our two-inch pipe. We're gonna stick it up the tank and kind of roughly position it. So now the Douglas valve, we're gonna take the nut off. 
the washer stays where it is. We're also going to take this uh, guide for the uh, old style ball valve. We're going to take that off. So I'm going to drop this Douglas valve in from the top. Um, let me show you how this uh, this ear goes on before I do that because the camera angle is going to be a little weird. So this was really designed <coughs> for the ball valve, uh, but we're going to put a regular uh, modern day flapper on it. So this uh, slips over the top and slide it down the overflow tube. And then we want to orient it so it's uh, perpendicular to the to the flush valve. Okay, see that? Basically, just goes over these rubber ears. And there we have it. We just converted this old ball style. You could also do this while it's in the ball on an older valve. These newer flappers certainly work better than the old ball valves. So the one thing you want to make sure that this is all the way down against the bottom there. And that way when you pull the flush handle. Oh great, it doesn't fit too nice. Well, I don't like the fit on that. Anyway, I got a different flapper in the truck. We'll try a different flap. The issue I'm having with this, my friends, is it's hanging this flapper, the flush, also known as a flush valve, it's hanging up as it closes on the front, the front edge of this bulb, bulb. So we're going, what I have in the truck is a couple of different universal flappers. And I'm going to eyeball the profile. This one looks really smaller, and that's going to be a good uh, bet there. But I'm going to eyeball this one first, too. This one comes with a built-in one of those uh, rubber things that we slipped over. So what we do with these, because it comes already with this thing, we could cut this here and use it in a regular flush valve with plastic gears on it. But uh, we might as well just slip this off and slip that on as an assembly. Okay. So slipping this off. And we're just going to uh, slip this on. Much nicer. Okay, final adjustments. Again, we want it perpendicular. Perpendicular. Very nice. Okay, so that the cone seals against the bottom of the tank. We want the overflow pipe towards the back of the tank so that the flush arm can uh, get easy access to the chain, the flush chain. As we slip it down in the tank, we're going to slip it over our 2-inch chrome tube. Then we're going to tighten up the nut on the 2-inch chrome tube. Dripping is just some residual water from inside the tank. It'll 